Alright diggers, uh, I'm done with my hunts for now. I gotta pick up my kid from school, but I thought I'd show you my finds. This is the, the trash. Uh, pencils, pull tabs, uh, bottle tops. Um, got this little hair clip. Um, three nickels, clad, a couple pennies, uh, one Canadian penny, 2000 something. Three dimes, one uh, commemorative quarter, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven regular cents, no wheats, uh, a shotgun shell casing, I found one of these before, a USMC, um, pretty old, a uh, flashlight top, and the coolest find of the day was this which is a Canadian, I think a quarter, and it's so in bad shape that I can't really make out that it's even a quarter, but you can barely see the, the Canada, and it says 19 either 10, 1913, or 1905. And I don't know if it was um, like nickel coated or silver coated or what. I know it was copper underneath because there's a little edge of it that you can see that is copper. Um, but I thought that was pretty cool. Found that up there in the park. And when I get home, I will show you my other cool find that I found that I didn't uh, record. I was uh, waiting for my wife to get out of Walmart and I was looking through her pennies in her ashtray and I found a uh, a double stamp 1964 uh, mint air coin that I thought was pretty cool and I'll share that with you guys so I don't have to use her camera because it'll go macro and maybe I can get a close up of that and maybe I can get a close up of this as well I don't I'm kind of afraid to clean it up because it seems that it was coated or uh, nickel coated or silver coated and that's all wearing off and it's really hard to read underneath but uh, to date that's my oldest coin unfortunately it's in pretty bad shape but uh, maybe it's just uh, residue on the top of the coin and maybe it's just a copper and if I clean it up a little bit with a soft toothbrush or something maybe it'll reveal a little bit more of exact uh, what it is quarter or large sand. I don't know if Canada made large sense in 1900 and early 1900s. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Happy hunting. Thanks to all my subscribers. And best of wishes on your best hunt, on your next hunt. Okay, we'll check back with you in a while.